Alright, what is going on guys, and we are back in Need for Speed Rivals, this time we are over on the cop side, and in this episode, I'm going to be using the Undercover GT500. Now, this thing is really cool, I have not driven it yet, but it looks sweet. So, it's going to be really simple to get this objective, all we need to do is rear ram 10 racers, so that's going to be, that's going to be a breeze, frankly, to do. Uh, let's see, what is that? A rapid response, uh, one that I've already done, okay. Uh, what would be a really good event to do this in? In... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's just... Let's try doing a... Let's try just doing a hot pursuit and just try ramming as many races as I can. It's going to take more than one event to do it. But if we get into get into an event now, we will sh we should be able to complete it pretty quickly, depending on depending on how quick this car is. But I mean, it's a GT500, so it's gonna be quick. It's I haven't like I said, I haven't driven it in this game, but it's gonna be quick. It's more powerful than the uh, than the C7 Corvette, but the C7 Corvette, on the other hand, handles a, a hell of a lot better than uh, the GT500 does. You can even see your cop, your character in the car as a cop. That is cool. Start up a hot pursuit. Attempt to arrest all 1044s while race is in progress. Let's do it. Ram, that is one. Two. Oh crap. I gotta catch him. I accidentally activated the ESF. And if I can catch him in time, I should be able to hit him. 1151, 1151. Our guy just Dang it! I missed him. Oh come on. I lost out on that ESF completely, and they all went down on the uh not even, I don't know where, where they went. They went out on the beach or something. Come on, come on. All units, watch for the break into the left. I had no idea it was going to be this hard to rear ram racers. Whoop. That should have counted. Didn't I hit him? Well, he took himself out, didn't he? Oh, where the heck did he go? Don't even know. Went like way up there. No idea why he went up there, but he did. That's three. Come on. Four and an ESF hit. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. Dang, these racers are getting much more difficult. Much more difficult to catch than before. Charge up the ESF again. Boom! Took him out! It's another rear ram. That's 6 out of 10. Seven. Come on. Come on. Oh, what? Come on. Mm, come on. That's eight. Yes. Just one more. One more. Just under two miles to catch him in. Should be super easy. There we go. That's nine. One more hit, and I've got the challenge complete. Dang, go faster. Jeez, I really wish... Again, this is one of those times where I wish that this game had an option of a manual transmission. I really do. He's deliberately trying not to let me ram him. 
Go ahead and get repaired real quick. Fill up the boost. Boom! Finished off the hot pursuit and completed the objective. And now I'm just on my way back to a command post. And I know where the nearest one is, too. Let's just see. Yep, I was right. I was just using the GPS to see if I was actually right about where it was. And yes, I was right. What? Did not mean to do that. Sorry, cop. I did not see you. I was looking at the leaderboard on the left. Do the repair shop. Got evidence of a possible 1044 nearby. I'm going in for a closer look. I see him, but I'm not going to chase him right now. Actually, you know what? You know what? I am. Lights on. Boost for it. Take that. Charge up with ESF. Take an ESF hit. The other cop is helping me out a lot. That Viper is not going to last much longer. Not very much longer at all. Racer busted. I didn't even have to. I used the ESF, but I thought I was going to have to actually use it on him. But now I'm just going to have to let it run out. Because I guess that one hit before I even activated the ESF was the one that got him. Enter. Actually, well, you know what? Yeah, I go ahead and enter. Because I was thinking of if I wanted to do anything else, but no, I'm just going to go straight into the command post and see what I unlocked. I think it's going to be the uh, BMW M6. BMW M6 patrol card, I think. Which means we should get one of those crazy bumpers on the front end. Okay, I was right. I was right. BMW M6, patrol car, and yes, we do get the crazy front bumper. That thing looks crazy. Chapter 3. The mayor visited Officer John McManus today as he recovered from his injuries at Redview County Hospital. While street racing in Redview County has caused thousands of dollars in property damage, this is the first time it has crossed the line. Newton's third law says that for each action, there must be an equal and opposite reaction. Force must always be met with force. And excessive force must be responded to accordingly. The racers have shown that they are willing to cross the line in their quest to disrupt society. We must be willing to do the same to protect it, to teach our enemies that it is they who are in danger. McManus won't be the only casualty. Dang. This is getting crazy. This is getting hardcore. All right, let's see. We want to do... So that's... This unlocks the regular 911 Turbo. This unlocks the Undercover 911 Turbo, and this unlocks the Enforcer 911 Turbo. I think I want to get the Enforcer one, to be honest. Let's do... Yeah, that should be a pretty easy speed list. Alright, if you guys enjoyed this episode with the GT500, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comment section down below what you thought of it, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to suggest any kind of cars you want me to drive.